to Lots of Series. My name is Precious Studio Kusenjia, and on this episode, I'm going to give you tips on the steps to take when your landlord throws you out. Let's assume you went to work and or your place of business, and on your way coming back home, you met your properties outside the, the, the compound or even within the compound but outside your apartment, and the gate to the, the door to your apartment is locked, or the gate to your compound where you live in is locked. What exactly are you to do in this situation? Now, these are these are things that happen almost on a daily basis. These things happen. It has been happening. It is still happening. What are you to do as a tenant? What steps are you supposed to take when your landlord throws you out without your without your notice, without a court order, and throws your property and your valuables outside? Get thoughts to lock up your premises or even man the entrance to your apartment. What should you do as a tenant? First thing first, as a tenant, you need to know and understand that your landlord does not have the power. He does not have any power whatsoever to throw out your belongings. He does not have the power to throw your valuables. He does not have power to go into your apartment, open it, take out your things and lock it up. No law on the surface of the earth either in Nigeria or outside Nigeria, gives him that authority. Irrespective of the fact that you may be owing for years. And I'm not telling you to owe as a tenant, and I'm not empowering you to owe. It is absolutely wrong to owe your landlord, even though you can afford this premises, you quit. But irrespective of the fact that you are owing, he doesn't have that right. So basically, what are you supposed to do when he does that? When he throws out your things, your valuables, and, keep, and kicks your, your family outside? The first thing you're supposed to do as a tenant is take pictures. Now you get to your house, you get to whether your property is outside the, the house as a whole or outside your apartment, it does not matter. As long as he has thrown your properties outside, your valuables and your family outside, they can gain entrance into the apartment or even into the main building, into the main compound. The first thing first is take pictures. Take pictures of your property the way it is outside. Take videos. Take videos and pictures of your properties, your valuables outside, and your family. Then move straight to the nearest police station. Move to the nearest police station closest to your house and make a formal report. Write a formal statement. Why would you report to the police first? Because your landlord broke into your house if it was by the daytime or he boggled in if it was at night. And that is a criminal offense. So, as long as you are a tenant... You have a tenancy relationship with your landlord. You're recognized as his tenant. There's something that shows that you are his tenant, receive tenancy agreement. You are legally protected by law. So first thing to do is report him to the Nigerian police force. Now, when you have reported him to the Nigerian police force, the police men will come to you, the apartment with you and see the evidence for themselves and invite your landlord over to make his statement. Now, he's going to be criminally liable for that. And you can claim whatever it is you want to claim from him on that note. And then you can also sue your landlord in civil or in criminal to recover whatever it is that you, you want to recover from him. Now, let me state here that he does not have the right, even if, even when the court orders that your prop, that you should evict the, the premises, your landlord cannot even do it on his own. He has to use the court officials, along with the police, to legally, legitimately take you out of the premises. And your things will not even be thrown out. If you don't have anywhere to go to, to take your things to, the court officials will take your things to the court premises, to whenever you're ready to take them out or to take them from the court premises. So basically, when your landlord throws your things out, locks you outside the apartment, do not fight him. Don't make a show out of it. Go straight, take pictures, take videos, go straight to the nearest police station, make a formal report, claim whatever it is you want to claim. If you had money in there, say the amount, if you had valuables that had been destroyed, he is going to pay and then sue him for damages. And he's going to pay at the end of the day. Now, this is not 
to empower any tenant to be heady, so to say, to old landlord or to be stubborn loan. It is to put everybody in that place. The landlord has his duties and his rights as a landlord. And you as a tenant have your duties and your rights as a tenant. Both go hand in hand. And one is not supposed to overlap the other. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Law Talk TV and hit the notification button for updates. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Don't know I call you baby mm, They say I'm crazy No be my photo, you drive me crazy You better see they do me I carry on my top on my head